What's up, guys? Here my Chase. Welcome to the YouTube channel. So this is a little bit of a aftermath, you know. <laughs> the math that's after the fact of uh, my previous video. So I just did a little uh, public experiment, part one of it. Uh, basically, holding up two signs to see how much money I get. <laughs> but whilst doing so, you know, I was looking around a lot. I kept looking around. You're not going to be aware. You know, it's 2022. The world's crazy, you know. Crazy where we're living in. So I was looking around a lot. And as I'm looking around, I couldn't help but, like, just pick up on some crazy, 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 crazy stuff. A lot of crazy shit going on in my reality that I'm, I feel like I was paying attention at one point. But, you know, the more conscious I become, the more woke. The more woke I become, the more prevalent it is to my psyche. So, shh. women, retro unknown. Oh, that's a big ass truck. Women, be riding solo, bro. Like, in my life, I've never seen so many girls just drive in the cars by themselves. And I know there's so many agendas being like pushed on women, like the feminist agenda, the, you know, abortion pro-abortion you know that whole thing that i want to get into um the pussy empowerment agenda there's just so many agendas that's being pushed in i don't know but the amount of women i just seen by themselves you know just in their cars it was like it was kind of weirding me out bro not that you can't be by yourself but i know women as social creatures you know they like company you know what i'm saying women not that nobody needs anybody, but women are designed to want a man, be with a man, have a man, you know what I'm saying? We're counterparts, you know, us as people, we're designed to be with each other, right? Like, like this. But these agendas on both sides, you know, they're making men feminine and gay and all these other things at the same time, but I was seeing the women, so that's what I'm talking about. But they're making people like this. They're like this, but they're making like this. See the difference? Big difference, right? You know, just imagine you're waking up and you're born into this world and when you're younger, you see more relationships. Even though you didn't know everything, you know, you didn't know the truth about relationships and stuff. You know, but you see more people together, more babies being made, stuff of that nature. People like this, family was together. A lot of different stuff was just genuine, authentic, right? But I don't know, Every this times have changed, bro. Everybody's like this, <laughs> like this. And uh, it's weird, man. Like, I know what's going on on so many different levels, but I don't get it, bro, still. Like, <laughs> I don't like it, bro. I don't like it. So many women, and I see how they drive. You know, I'm seeing more masculine women, too, obviously. They have this whole masculine kind of persona when they're driving. Like, they feel like a boss. But something tells me that deep down, they don't really, they feel like, <sighs> I'm an empath, so I'm just really in touch with people. Deep down, they really feel like they're missing something, right? But they've been taught by society that, you know, they need to be independent. They don't need a man. They're supposed to be in power. They're supposed to be in control. Um, they don't need to listen to anybody. They can control their own life completely. And that's all cool. But it's to the extent that society has brought it. They made women really bash men and not really value or love men at all. And now they're at a point, like I said, like I see them, you know, I could see right through the veil, like, yeah, they, they act like they're confident and that they're bosses and that, you know, they love themselves fully or portray it as, but I can just see that these women, like, feel like they're missing something, you know what I'm saying? And they're still going about their lives day by day, and I see it so much, you know? And on the women's side, they also have the lesbian, you know, that agenda. I'm also seeing a lot more of that, you know, my God. I'm also seeing a lot more of that you know, playing around, playing on. But yes, it's so much separation, bro. And my thing is, I know people are on their program in this matrix to where they're separated and they have so many false perceptions about the opposite race. And it's not entirely false because I know stuff does happen. But you got, but people got to realize that we've just been designed to really go against each other. Um, Just, just, to put it in the short words, like, it's disgusting to me, bro. Like, I love women. And, 
who doesn't love women? If women love women, women love being around women. I see more women around women than ever before. You know, I chill in these restaurants or wherever I go and there's always women in groups. Not that it should be a man all the time, but you know, that's what girls do, they hang out with each other. That's normal, but to the extent that it is, it's like, it's like two cults. Like it's like girls versus boys, it's like a war. You know what I'm saying? And if they're not in a group with each other, probably seen a couple couples, not a lot. Probably seen one black couple too, and I was surprised. I don't even know if they were together, it didn't look like it. It was weird, but you get what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> how do I say this, man? Like I'll try to put it in the best words possible. I think I'm doing good though, but people are separated, bro. People are separated. Um, feel like something isn't right on the inside, and you know, you need a man. Not that you should just be in a relationship with any man because not all men are perfect, but you're not perfect either. Why are people so separated? Like I could, I could feel it through like them driving, like staring at them down driving. Like I could feel it. Why not? You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Like why can't people come together under some, <clears throat> excuse me, some cordial shit, some a grown adult shit, some let's respect each other, love each other, and desire to be in a relationship or let's be friends and actually have a relationship and then get together. You know, like, people don't even go on dates, bro. Like, I'm, I'm looking at all this stuff today. I'm just like, damn, like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, in, my own, I'm in my own world so much that I don't see every, I'm, I don't see people all the time. I don't care to look at people all the time. But like I said, I was doing that little video and I just had to analyze and look at everything. I'm just like, People don't go on dates no more. You know, that whole dating culture, the whole taking a girl out to date, getting to know her, and then whatever, whatever, slowly but gradually, knowing the person, accepting for who they are. You don't gotta like everybody you date, that's why you date, but you get what I'm saying, like, but that shit is gone, bro. Like, I, I don't see no relationships, bro. I don't see nothing, like, people are so separated, but nobody wants to talk about it, you know? And I, I hear and see people talking about it in the sense of like, you know, targeting. I mean, it's not targeting, it's telling the truth, but targeting a certain gender in one area, targeting a certain gender in another area. But you gotta realize it's both genders. Like it's not a one, it's not a one way street. Like both genders have to really get their shit together and actually come together in a communion to actually make relationships work because relationships are dead, bruh. Like people just hooking up nowadays and what happened to a date? Like, do people not have any need for a genuine connection? Not to say that people that you're going to come into contact with every day is going to be perfect or whatever. Because nobody's perfect. You got to realize that. But do people not have, like, a genuine urge for dating? Like, I know everybody wants to be happy. I know you want to be happy. I know you want a relationship. I know deep down both genders want a relationship. Right? So why is it, like, gone to this extent of like me being able to feel people's pains through just looking at them for a little bit and I know it's the same for men I know men want to be with women and stuff and it's the same thing on the opposite side but opposite gender but you get what I'm saying like I don't know I don't know I don't know I'm not trying to get sad bro but and I love people man I love people I love the human race I love everybody here I love everybody here. I really do. I just wish I, I just didn't have to see that and just know me being conscious of whatever's going on and just really see it to that extent because, you know, you see these girls driving like they bosses, speeding and driving like all masculine like men. Some of them, not all of them, but, you know, turning like men. Some of them want to look like men and act like men and to each their own. But deep down, I, you can just see that you're not happy and you're just living like that every day. It's like, when is something really gonna change and people are like, I actually don't wanna do this anymore. I don't like how my life's been, you know? I'm not willing to accept what I have been given in my past and I want a new future and I actually want a relationship, you know what I'm saying? All it takes is two people to come together, you get what I'm saying? Like this, all it takes is two people to come together. So why is it to this extent? You get what I'm saying? Like the odds probably like out of every man and woman in the world, like the amount of times i've seen this the amount i've seen this is just you know i see older couples together sure i see it all the time but that's not all the time and it's not very often you know and that's older couples it's not this generation that they're really 
manipulating and brainwashing to go against each other, but hey man. I don't know if people get hurt, you know, I was hurt before. So I kinda understand it. Not kinda, I understand it completely. But, you know, I'm gonna say that, say this, you know. Should I? Nah, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it. That's for another video. That's another video. But um, anyway, I just wanna pick the camera and talk about it, man. Like, people is really like separated. Like, men and women used to be a household with men and women like this in society through brainwashing, manipulation, a lot of types of things, and has just turned men and women against each other, you know, just turned them against each other, like, just like that, you know. How are you supposed to make a family? Is, are people not thinking about this? If men and women are not with each other, how are their families to be made? How are people going to have families? How are you going to have kids? How are you going to build your legacy? Little do you guys know, that's the whole agenda. At the end of the day, it's for us to not be able to procreate and be together. And it looks like it's really in full effect. And it's been in full effect for a while. But, um, hey, man. It's your boy Chase Goldie. See, we need to come together, bro. Both genders, bro. Both genders, they come together. It's crazy, man. I don't know, bro. It's crazy. People need to come together, bro. But besides that, I'm a life coach. You know, I'm not just a big head, not just a big forehead, not just a lot of mouth. I can coach behind this mouth and uh, whatever it is about life, relationships, spirituality, I do it all. I've been through it all. So if you want to help with anything, learn about anything, learn to shoot about anything, figure out how to get through a situation. Book a session with me down below in the comment section. I said comment section. Comment section. Uh, and yeah, like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Chase Goldie. It's love, man. At the end of the day, if you don't got nothing else, it's love. It's love. Love is key life, bro. Love, love. L O V E. Don't make it evil, because it could be evil. Use the wrong way. Flip them letters around, you'll see something or two. But it's love, bro. Love, love. Communion. People come together, relationships. If people can't get into relationships, what the f like, y'all gotta understand, like this is a relationship. This is like a natural, like, necessity, like. <laughs> like we were born to procreate with each other. If y'all can't if people can't get into relationships, don't y'all understand what's going on? Like, aren't you guys seeing that a at a higher level, like, if people can't get to relationships and procreate at a minimal basis, and you came here from your parents coming together and procreating, yeah, you're in a generation where people are not procreating. What do you think is gonna happen? Do you think we're gonna be here? <laughs> like, on a, on our level of yourself, for your fulfillment, like you should find love within yourself first, but fulfillment as a being, and then on top of that, on a, you know, genetic level, you procreate it. Y'all don't see the problem with this? <laughs> but, uh, hey, man. If you say you see, if you don't know. But if you wish you could feel me love you too. Love is key love. Like I said, love. Go tell somebody you love today, man. Go just walk up to a random person and just be like, I love you. And if they say, why do you say that to me? And they, if they act through, just be like, I love you. And if they're confused and bothered, just, I love you. And then if they ask why, just be like, because I don't know if somebody told you that they loved you today. So I'm just telling you out of the kindness of my heart. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna talk. Peace.